Automation is great. I think a lot of um, customers too, like in every realm of every aspect of business, I think people like automation. Like mm -hmm. a lot of HVAC companies and other companies out there will automate like schedule maintenance for you guys. Because I mean, how much, how often do people actually think of maintenance? I have a friend, uh, I won't name drop, but uh, he's really terrible at changing his filter. He's sold his house to two of his friends and, uh, and then they've called me over. They're like, hey man, the AC's not working. I go over there filters completely plugged mm -hmm. <laughs> and then another guy i installed ac for him and then he sold the house to somebody else and then that guy called and was like hey man this ac you installed like isn't working and i was like all right well i'll head over and go look at it and a plugged filter i'm like wow it's true i mean like i i'll tell you right now i'm not the greatest at changing my filter at home mm -hmm. but i mean for regular maintenance and stuff like that like a lot of companies they'll start like a you know, comfort club or whatever that they'll start with, um, customers that can sign up and like, it's a monthly fee, but you just pay monthly and all the stuff is kind of taken care of. It's like, Hey, we'll come over, we'll service your unit. We have it already all scheduled. And mm -hmm. like what days are best for you guys. We'll find out, okay, yeah. weekends are best or this is best. And just kind of have it. It's like, okay, yeah. Like we know that this guy's coming over and you can even do automated emails and stuff to mm -hmm. like a text or email reminder, like, Hey, we're coming over on this day. Just let you know, like, definitely. You yeah. Know, and, so. And that's automated. Did you get your automated email uh, reminder for I this? did. Yeah, see? Yeah, absolutely did. <laughs> yeah, and like, the, yeah, automation is everywhere. It, it's, I mean, that's technically what uh, any kind of technology is, you know. Uh, everything, look how many, we have so many automations around us. I don't know how to, know how to make a microphone right now because it's automated. <laughs> that's right. And, you know, it's like, and then when you count biology, we got billions of, bio, of automations all around us, mm -hmm. you know. So it's like so, so much automations because... Uh, and it's just like that's the future of any any kind of tech. You know, it's like if you could create a automated robot that changes your filter for you every every three months or something that that connects. Maybe, maybe they might have that in the future. I don't know. Yeah. Well, they will definitely. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, things with like the like a lot of like robots are coming more into play, and it's actually like a, the like one of the big next things. Mm -hmm. uh, quote unquote uh and uh is and you know with tesla doing the tesla bot you know like the re those things are meant for like automating tasks that like a computer can't it's like taking those automations mm -hmm. and you know it's like flicking the lights on for you can actually do that without a robot now uh but <laughs> if you connect google smart lights yeah uh you can you just, just tell alexa to turn the lights on just turn the lights on you know <laughs> well google and alexa i guess the nest and alexa oh yeah yeah i actually got a a, a nest coming in the mail right now very good so, yeah <laughs> good. yeah no technology has been really cool i mean even seeing some of the stuff in the industry how it's changed has been been awesome so mm -hmm. i couldn't imagine being a plumber back in the baby boomer days you know yeah. they used to pour cast iron lead joints I don't even know what that Cast means. Cast iron pipe, and then they'd pour, like, lead joints inside the, the like, poop pipe. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of lead. Yeah, there's yeah. a whole thing about lead, you know. It's, uh... You know, you ever try to take <laughs> one of those things apart? They suck. I've had to drill, drill one out, like... And then I saw a video on YouTube. Some guy was heating it up, and the lead just kind of poured out. But yeah, cause I it, couldn't yeah. imagine plumbing back then, man. You're in a crawl space, just like... It's like a sauna down there. You just got a bunch of torches or whatever, and it's like... Mm -hmm. Nowadays, you have the PEX pipe, and... I mean, it's a whole lot better too. Like, it's it's not just like easier. It's it's better material as well. Cause mm -hmm. there's you know a number of calls I've gone to with you know copper pipe where it's got a pH imbalance and it's like you know you you can almost put your finger through the pipe. It's so thin and it's just like corroded, eating out from the inside, and you get like pinhole leaks everywhere. And um, mm. you know it's you know the PEX pipe withstands freezing a little bit better. It's you know it doesn't corrode and it's good stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's it, great. with the whole housing industry, just things continuously just yeah. making our houses more safe and more efficient. Yeah. And, you know, uh, I, I think there's a, a statistic where water heaters uh, cause deaths. Is that is that something? No, that's okay, not real. That's not real? Okay. I'm just kidding. No, it probably does. Yeah. <laughs> like it's, Carbon monoxide leaks well, or whatever. Isn't like a, a, like, yeah, a water heater where there's so, the case where it blows up the house, right? Well, I've never, I mean, I... I've seen, like, videos of Mythbusters where, like, the water here, like, blows out the roof of the house. I don't know how that happens. I have no idea. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, you know, there's a lot of safety, you know, things put in place now to implement really good safety in homes, too. Um, I think before Nest even and Google came out that I think I was, you know, I don't know, just there were thoughts. When I was working with my brother, I think he brought it up. He was thinking about, like, something to shut off the furnace if there was ever a... a, a carbon monoxide leak and yeah nest has it so if you have the google nest thermostat mm -hmm. and the nest carbon monoxide detectors 
If it if the carbon monoxide or the smoke detectors go off, it will shut off power to the thermostat so the furnace won't run. So nice. just, I don't mm-hmm. know. Technology is really cool. Yeah, I mean, it allows us to be be, be much safer in a lot of ways, you know? And, mm-hmm. and that, like, like uh, yeah, I don't know. There's so much cool things. I could, I could go 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 on and on about uh, the automations and, and, and stuff like that. I'm really, really, really pumped about uh, adding these into my life and really figuring out how many things can, can, can I automate? How many things can I make more efficient? What if I can add an extra 10 years onto my life through automation? And when I say add an extra 10 years onto my life, I mean not going past 10, year, 10 years past the date that I'm destined to die on, uh, but adding, taking these things out of my life and mm-hmm. adding 10 years before that destined date is, you know? Sure, yeah. <laughs> or I mean, <laughs> even if you can free up your time and automate stuff like, you know, so you can do other things with your time that are more valuable or that you want to pour into. So. Mm-hmm. And that just allows me, to, when, I, when I add these automations in, it allows me to, to work on higher, more, more, more higher level problems. Mm-hmm. And, you know, like having a calculator in our pocket is, allows us to focus on the actual uh, results of the math that we're trying to do instead of the actual knowing how to add or subtract or, or you know, all this stuff. So mm-hmm. it allows you to work on the actual a problem than the than the minutia in between, <laughs> and so that that just gets me excited about all that stuff. <laughs>